keep them out here until it's a little bit brighter out. And um, I hear a dog, so you can wait. Okay, guys, it's your turn to go. This whole tree is buzzing because of the bees. My last bed. Let's go to the garden, which is so much nicer than everything else right now. <laughs> this is my happy spot. So my mom came and visited and it was wonderful. We hung out and we went to the pool and did all these things and it was great. We also talked about dreaming and what's next and what else to do. And she has a garden and just all this kind of stuff. And I've really just been on this like dreaming about stuff kick. Like I looked at property again and horses because it's fun. It's fun to think about that kind of stuff. As long as you're in the right mindset. If you're not in the right mindset, it is not fun. But I was in the right mindset, so it was definitely fun. Wow. I bet that's milkweed, like, trying to grow up here. Look at this. What do you think? Oh, the only thing that would push up that good is milkweed. Yep. There's some milkweed trying to grow. Sorry, bud. We're not doing that right now. So anyways, it made me want to go back and take a look at the goals that I had set for this year. Because so I was like, oh, I wanna make new goals. And then I was like, wait, did I actually achieve any of the goals that I set earlier this year, like in the winter? So I looked back at them and the answer is like, no, not really. <laughs> we did expand the gardens. I have been cooking from scratch. Yard has been turning into clover, but that wasn't from my doing. It's just kind of happening, which is nice. I do have some native plants planted and you know, we have pollinator plants and stuff like that. So. And I've been preserving, so I have been doing those things. But as far as like water catchment system, I still don't have my buckets to catch water. I haven't made an outdoor kitchen. Those are two of my big ones that I really wanted to do. So still have, oh, and hay storage. Not that we've been cutting hay, but I like, I don't have hay storage. I also don't have hay. I don't remember if there's anything else, but those things like I haven't actually achieved, but that's okay. I think I could still make new goals. Especially because I've done some things that weren't on the list. For instance, we got bees. Didn't see that coming. So now we have bees. We added to the chickens after suffering some losses with the chickens. There have been other improvements that weren't on the original list. So now I'm kind of thinking about how to achieve the things that I set out to achieve, but also maybe some new goals, dreams, whatever you want to call them. What is it like a goal is just a dream with a plan or something like that? It's like fall out. There's not a milkweed. They're very persistent. Look at this. I think you may be digging them up and sticking them out at the corner and be like, does anybody want some milkweed? Like I'll warn people and be like, it spreads a lot and doesn't die, but look at how happy though. How much better would everything be if everybody had milkweed everywhere? So everything's looking pretty good out here, especially this part of the garden. It's just like, look at those, look at those pumpkins. They are going gangbusters. And look at the onions are all looking good. Even the peppers, the beans. I hope we get beans soon. What is that? It's just a piece of bark. So bad, but like every time I see something, I'm like, please don't be a dead animal. It was pretty morbid, but you'd be surprised. You like moles, birds, just things. So I really need the tomatoes and the zinnia to like start growing really big and shading out some of these weeds. I don't like weeding and there's a lot of weeds. Also, I did determine that pretty much all the zucchini and squash plants that we planted were actually crookneck squash. Now that they've all pretty much made some crookneck squash, it's not actually, I'm not a huge fan of crookneck squash, but it's fine. It's fine. This is fine. There are two other plants that could do something else. You could do something, something else and you could do something else if you try really hard to not be a crookneck squash. Oh my goodness. I mean, we were out here yesterday and they were not this big. They grow so fast. Squashes, it's like they're not there and then the next day they're humongous. What size do you like your squash? Do you like them when they're like big or like this or smaller than this? I know everybody's got like their own squash size that they really like. I'm also like patiently waiting on these sunflowers. This is my mullet sunflower field. Short up front, long in the back. They're so close. You're close. My corn is doing well. 
see me standing next to it for a height comparison here. And look, I'm seed saving. Hurry up and get brown. So one thing that I would really love to do is to have like a little stand at the end of our driveway. We don't even make enough food for our entire family. <laughs> As you know, you need a lot of food to be self-sustainable and eat all your own food and we're not there. But I don't know, there's just something about, I just really want like a little stand. I don't even have anything to put out at it. I'm like, maybe when the zinnia come in, I'll just cut some of those and put them out there. I don't know, but I just think it would be like, it's just one of those things. And I feel like you have to make things fun for yourself because if you don't, if it's all practical and there's no fun or whimsy, then I lose interest and it doesn't go as well. That's why I always put like a bunch of flowers in my garden. I did a little bit of weeding. Just the bare minimum, Junior. I'm gonna go see if those sweet potato slips that we've put in the water, if they've done any rooting. Keep up on stuff, otherwise I just forget them and like all of a sudden in December, I'd be like, did I have some sweet potato slips somewhere? <gasps> they're getting there. You can see a little bit of roots on the bottom there, but they're not, not ready yet. I like the view from my broken window. All right, I've had an idea for one thing. We're gonna take these three flower seed things. We got what I think is probably Coreopsis, Cosmos, and Black-Eyed Susan, and I'm gonna put them out in this empty bed that I have, and then as they come up, if I wanna move them, I'll just transplant them. Like, no, you can't be here, go away. Okay, I need a hoe. Luckily, everybody who uses all the garden, garden implements always puts them back where they belong. It's probably out here somewhere. Here's the other corn. Doesn't that, look, doesn't that look good? Looks good. And look, first of all, these are blooming. I don't remember planting these. This type of lily is all over around here and I think it just seeds itself in people's yards, honestly. But I'm fine with it, I like flowers. And then I, I know I planted these at some point in time, I don't remember when, but I like them, they're pretty. I mean, how am I supposed to find a hoe in a field full of corn? I think we'll just use this, this stiff rake. All right. What? So they're all down. I hope some of them grow. I think they will, but if not, whatever. It's kind of like having my own greenhouse, but it's just a bed. I'm gonna take these things when they come up and move them around to wherever, wherever I want. Seed starting bed. they have also got to stomp on them. Pretty sure this helps somehow. Stomp, 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 stomp. This is the type of precise gardening that that is done here. Okay, so that's really it. My mom came over. We had a good time. Uh, squashes are growing and I have to pick them. I want a horse and a bunch of land and a roadside stand, even though I haven't even done all the things that I said I was gonna do. That's pretty much what's going on. <laughs> what's going on with you? Why did you do that? There's my house. Yeah.